Welcome back guys. In this video we will be discussing about listing files commands. Okay. So first of all ls command ls it gives the directory list or list all the contents of the current or specified directory. That is right now I am in pwd home gaurav in this directory gaurav directory and whenever I type ls and press enter it will list all those folders and files that are currently in gaurav folder okay as you can see here home home gaurav all these files have been listed okay so that's good that's how you list all the files now ls is intelligent enough to display the file names in alphabetical order as you can see from a c d let us now create a file and then see whether we can list it using ls i will create something like cat dot gaurav hmm i this is a file name It starts. It starts with the dot. Okay. So, do you expect any error? Because our file name begin with a dot sign, dot symbol. Well, file names can begin with a dot. Since no error has occurred while creating this file, we should be confident that ls is bound to list it. Let us try it now. ls and as you can see it has list all the files but not dot gaurav what the hell where has the file dot gaurav gone well well it is there in the directory but it is treated as a hidden file for that matter any file which begins with a dot is treated as hidden file and if we want to list even the hidden files we need to use the minus a option of ls so i will do like something like this ls minus a enter and as you can see it it has list all those files which are hidden to or which begins with the dot sign okay so uh, yeah there you go dot gora we have find it finally okay so minus a option for here listing all the hidden files too now there is another problem what these two files means dot and double dot actually dot stands for the current directory whereas double dot stands for the parent of the current directory these two entities automatically get created in the directory whenever the directory is created okay so i we can go into this directory to cd dot dot it stands for its parents directory parent directory dot dot and as you can see now pwd we are in home so uh, we just enter into dot dot and we are in now home the parent of the gaurav directory right now i want to go back into gaurav g o u r a v now p w d again and as you can see we are now in home gaurav okay so let's do for cd dot and p w d because it stands for the current directory only so that's why we are in current directory okay so understood it now try the something else we would like to okay i would like to discuss meta characters meta characters are characters that shall never takes at face value they are representative of one or group of characters and constitute unix way of indulging us users these allow us to formulate all sorts of criteria to be satisfied by a string okay so wait a second okay so just for an example i will create many files like touch pain gain main pain and something like that touch pane gain main okay that will be enough okay so these files have been created in 
home gaurav directory you can uh, we can see this from here gain main pane 10 okay cool so i think this is the only advantage of touch command over cat command cat as i already told you uh, we have already discussed about cat and touch in my previous video now let's talk about meta characters first of all ls mm -hmm. okay so let's create some more okay no let's create ls a star okay so star is a meta character star is interpreted by the shell as presence or it can be interpreted by the shell as absence of any number of characters that is this represents any number of characters star okay so this whole will list all those files which begins with a a and then any number of characters okay so whenever i click enter button and as you can see what the hell ls a star hmm what the heck okay pwd we are in right so it must be this file what the heck ls a star hmm if i do ls p star okay so i don't know what's wrong with a star okay so now you may know get it whenever i click on ls a star it will list all the files which starts with a and then any number of characters since add this directory contains these two files that's why they have been listed okay get it and whenever i type this command lsp start it will list all those files which starts with p and then any number of characters that's why only pane this file has been listed okay so this is how it works ls and uh, meta characters let's take some more example uh, now take the most pertinent one that is question mark ls question mark and in okay so when the shell comes across a question mark it understands that this symbol signifies any single character okay so it will list all those files which begins with any single letter which starts with any single letter it can be anything and then ends with this in okay so remember we have pain tain gain main all these files must be listed after this command and let's see the result yeah we got it gain main pain tain okay so question mark is another meta character now if i want to let's take an another example if i have these whole files in in a new folder let's say untitled folder only and i have all these files in untitled folder and i want to list all the files in the directory called untitled folder which end in say n which ends with n okay so how do i do it ls directory name mm, untitled and no need to type all this just uh, just press tab button it will auto complete it untitled folder and i want all those files which ends with n so what you will do star n right star means any number of characters and n means normal n character press enter okay so as you can see all those files have been listed gain pain main ten okay these all files end with n character 
Now another very powerful means for specifying criteria for file selection is by supplying ranges. Ranges. If you want to list all files whose name starts with a vowel, you can say something like this. LS square brackets A E I O U and then star. So this signify any single character any single character but within these A E I O U it can be either A or E or I or O or U. Okay, any single character and then it uh, star of course represent a number of characters so it will list all those files whose name begin with a vowel okay so this is the speciality of square brackets whenever I click on enter button and as you can see E and SDK because as you can as we have already saw that ADT bundle this folder contains these files and this is the only folder that is qualified for this command get it another easy example would be like if I enter in CD untitled and tab and LS there you can see I have these command uh, these files now I want LS A E I O U okay how do I do it uh, because um, just press the upper up arrow key to see all the previous history commands and no need to type all these commands again and again so this is the very nice feature of unix just press up key and you will see all the history okay so ls now i want this command to execute press enter ls cannot access no such file okay so it's you can see no such file or directory is there to qualify for this command okay so if I create another file name a that starts with a and then anything ample something like this and whenever I click again execute this command ample should be displayed right because it contains a that starts with an vowel and then any number of characters cool now okay so now if your requirement is to list those files whose name whose names do not begin with a vowel then what do you do unix allows this feature of providing not get just like this ls okay no need to write again and again just use this symbol not okay so whenever it will list all those files which do not begins with a vowel and whenever I click on enter button and as you can see gain got a main paint in these files do not begin with a vowel cool the not symbol complements the condition that follows it remember that the square bracket is always substituted by a single character we can specify a group of character within square bracket as in like this ls a e not a maybe g m and then a o and then question mark question mark question mark question mark question mark question mark okay so what this command will do this represent a single character this also represent a single character these three also represent a single character I mean individually question mark represent only a single character so this this command will display all those files whose name begin with either G or M whose name which begins with either G or M and the second character which and the second character must be of A or O okay and then any single character third place will be any single character fourth place will also be any single character and fifth place will also be any single character so let's see is there any file exist no such file or directory because G A and then we have three question marks which tells all which 
list all those files which are of five characters and we don't have actually five character file any right so let's reduce one question mark and let's see the result and as you can see gain and mean these are four characters gain which starts with g condition true starts with a condition true and then any number of and then two single characters i n similarly for mean so this is how it works okay so this is much about this video um, i will see you later and we will discuss about ls minus l and some more options available with ls in later video in next video okay so hope you like this video please rate comment and subscribe and please give a thumbs up and bye from now